for that, I would like to um, say thank you to each and every single one of you who already joined our discussion tonight. And I would like to say thank you so much also for Ka, for Ka Iqbal who give me that this opportunity. So I'm so honored to be a moderator for this insightful discussion. And then, yeah, first of all, I think it's great for me to um, introduce myself first. So hi, uh, my name is Andy Miratuljana, but mostly people call me Ira or Andy. So I'm fine with both. So if you guys want to call me Ira, okay, it's fine. And then, yeah, before we get into our topic today, I would like to encourage everybody who already participate in this discussion. I hope you guys can be actively participating because your input, ideas, um, perspective are invaluable and we want to hear from all of you. So don't hesitate to share about your thoughts, um, opinion. If, if you want to ask any question, it's fine because um today it's the day for all of you guys to practicing so uh we can practicing together so it's a very great uh, chance for all of you to practice and then yeah so i think let's get started our topic today so um yeah as you can see we're going to talk about finding peach in failure and journey of self acceptance honestly there, there's a reason why i really want to bring up this discussion this topic because i was really wondering about how people feel failure because everybody has a different ways feel uh, when they want to feel or when they want to facing failure they all have a different opinion and also different thoughts about um embarrass this failure in their life so i really want to hear about your opinion your thoughts so i hope you guys can also be participate and actively in this discussion so when we heard the word of failure probably in your minds uh conjure images about disappointment um frustration or even shame because everybody doesn't really want to talk about you know failure because it was such a bad thing to talk about it was a shame to, to talk about our failure and you know share it to other people and then you know i really want to also remind you and talk about Failing as a human being and failing in our and our lives, uh, how can we actually um deal with this failure and then not giving but and not giving up and then there's actually a ways of us to learning and grow from failure. So um yeah, this is actually one of the reason I really want to bring up this topic. So yeah, okay, well, can you share the screen? Can you share the slide? Okay, so. Uh, first of all, what is actually failure? So failure is an inevitable part of our life and it doesn't have to define us, you know. Failure can be painful, uh, challenging experience and often leave us a feeling as disappointed and even shame, like I, I said before. However, finding uh, peace in failure is very crucial for our overall uh, well-being and personal growth because uh, so this topic, we're going to delve into the journey of self acceptance and actually how we can explore how embarrassing, um, embarrassing failure and can lead us to the, um, self discover and also deeper understanding about ourselves in failure. So there is a quote in here from somebody that I pick it up and it says, success is not about avoiding failure, but it's about how to respond to failure. So this is actually... Uh, when we talk about failure, it's always going to go hand in hand and also about success. So it's not, we couldn't separate between failure and also success. So yeah, so today, first of all, um, there's a question. So Kaipal, you can, um, yeah. So first of all, I really want to hear from all of your story guys about um, sharing your ex personal experience of facing failure. So uh, maybe anybody would like to, you know, uh, give their opinion or their maybe personal story about facing failure. So you guys can raise your hand. Anyone? Oh, maybe they're Eric or um, Rainless. Okay, Eric. All oh, right. Okay, Eric. Hello, Eric. Hello, Ira. Hi. Hi. Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing, by the way? I'm good. Okay, I'm Eric. Good. So, Eric, maybe um, I I know like everybody has been faced failure in their lives. So maybe you have one um like specific or memorable failure that really stick in your mind. Maybe we should like to share with us today. Yeah, I have some story when I failed. Um, so. Like two years ago in 2021, 
as I pass from the senior high school and then I'm going to the college. But I felt going to college seven times, they didn't accept me. And other time I decided to talk a gap year. So that's the best, not the best, I mean the big <laughs> um, happened, the big failure that happened to me. Yeah. Okay. So how do you define failure in that experience? How do I define failure? Hmm. Yeah, I defend failure as um, for me, like, you know, like, failure is just the steps to get my the best what I want. So if if I felt at that, at that moment, so it doesn't mean it's not good for me. It's also, I ever hear that, like, some people say that failure, it doesn't mean you being a felt human, felt human thing, but I do feel it could be a big stepping stone that you can do to achieve your another success. Okay, yeah. is that all? That's all. Okay, wow, that was very I mean, wonderful from Eric's experience and about your defining about failure. I really want to highlight that you mentioned about Failure, it doesn't mean that you felt as a human being, right? Oh, that's very powerful, Eric. I like that. I like, thank you very much, Eric, for sharing. Okay. Okay, so anybody who would like to share after Eric? Um, Another? Yeah, Putri can... just rest. Okay, Putri, yeah, go ahead. All right, thank you. Uh for the opportunity hi guys i'm putri uh let's begin by sharing our personal stories of facing failure okay uh of course as a human being we all i think we all have uh experienced failure in our life uh in my personal uh, stories i have fail to get a scholarship uh so and also join a professional uh job yeah i have fell so many times <laughs> but it doesn't mean that i don't have opportunity to uh to get into a professional things uh just because uh uh i mean like we we just need to find another another way another door so for me failure me uh i i define failure as a as a it's not a lack of success but just a pending you know we we just need more time mm, okay is that all uh Kaputri? yeah i think that's all okay wow that was very amazing powerful thing from Kaputri. just um explained before i really love that uh Kaputri also share about um failure and get scholarship um joining personal uh, job as well and also how you can define failure as a part of um, our journey of you know up depending to success so i really love that you say that uh, we need actually more time and learning from failure that was very amazing kaputri thank you very much kaputri for sharing my pleasure okay so anybody who would like to share after kaputri so you guys can answer could because you're uh, raise your hand now maybe um uh, rain or alfila anybody Okay, so uh yeah, yeah, sir. Okay, yeah, there's a uh, Mr. Daddy Mustafa uh, Mustari. Hello, hello, Mr. Hello, Miss Miss Andi Mira Tojana. 
Wow, you call me with my full name. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I'm just amazed because you are Andy. It means that you are from Sulawesi. Am I mistaken? Yes, correct. Okay. But uh, I'm not came from uh, South Sulawesi. I'm from uh, Central Sulawesi. Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm... to mention that. <laughs> okay. Um, let me share my personal stories about facing failure. Um, it's coming from personal you know, um, intention of stating that I'm a failure myself and how I do work in my um, workloads that I also consider as failures or what people consider them as failures. Um, a lot of people these days have their own standard and we have to conform with the social construction that people have that you have to fit into several boxes or standards like, oh, as the women, you have to be skinny, you have to be things like this smart blah 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 and so on so far while man you have to be extra effort you have to be truthful you have to be faithful and so on so far that creates the standard that when we're not achieving that standard we are considered as failure as someone who's born in a rural area and have to deal with a lot of um struggles Failure, in my perspective, is just like a stairs for my success with a less of enthusiasm that I keep in myself to think that I knew that I'm not as privileged as others. They're probably coming from different background as I am. But what it looks like is just me, me you know, needing to be needing um, extra effort and extra, you know, going extra miles to achieve the same achievement as others it doesn't make me less enthusiastic thinking that oh just because I'm coming from lower um, standard or privilege from others it means that I'm a failure myself even though I was in a certain time thinking that I'm a failure myself that I'm not fitting into social construction standard like what other people think of like oh you're too feminine or you have to be speaking this way can we talk this, you know, frame of speaking? Because I'm, I'm afraid that I'm talking to, you know, like too general or is too, it's not something that you want to talk about, about failure. Because I just want to emphasize failure by means of, you know, like personal um, thinking and self thinking about ourselves. Okay. Yeah, that's from my personal point of view, but in my company we also consider failure as if it's talk you know it's about learning curve so your proficiency is supposed to be in line with your um, pace of working so when your pace of working is getting slower than your proficiency means your learning curve is not good enough that is considered as a failure in several companies when your learning curve is something that the HR or the learning development of your company would think of as um, their employees development and it would consider as whether or not you have to be continued or not especially when you're coming from the program like management training that you have to face a lot of challenges and um, expectation from your company that this learning curve is what people you know uh, consider as the standard of you being continued or not and that's my uh what i currently or have been facing and first of all what i need to do with that is that i need to accept myself first that no matter what people think of me or what people probably think of me would be considered a, a, well i will take them as a consideration but not necessarily changing the definition of myself so purely i just want to stands my own self-identity and it's not you know like opposing the uh social norms like oh if you're you know like changing your yeah really like specific gender you're changing your uh, idealism towards other people it's, it's a totally different discussion but i need to have my self-acceptance first so that's my stories back to the moderator thank you Okay, wow, that was very uh, wonderful, you know, explanation from Kadedi. I really love that about you mentioned about um. There's also like you know a point of view from societies 
how they're thinking about you know failure as well and then we is uh, everybody has a different standard um from this especially when it comes to like society society also has a different standard of you know of uh, failure so we also going to talk about that in the next slide about um you know society is few about failure and then what is actually impact to our life so thank you so much Kadidi, for bringing up that yeah that was very wonderful okay all right so um there's also kai yasir mr yasir would like to sharing hello Hi. hello yeah hello can you hear me hello yeah 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 we can hear you yeah, yeah. Uh, should i start yeah go ahead so failure well, uh, I faced some failure when I was uh, when I'm about to uh, applying for my high school back in the day. And at the time, I used to think that uh, failure means that I have to redirect my path to the goals that I have been set before. But this day, um, I also face uh, failure when I applying scholarship too. But since uh, applying scholarship is like you can try every year, so I think I tend to think that uh, failure is a moment for you to uh, evaluating yourself, like come back more stronger and find uh, what what uh, part of you that still need to uh, reconstruct, like. And uh, something that I used to tell to myself that uh, don't take people's opinion uh, way too deeper because it really affects you. And people can have their opinion, of course, but it's also you You are the one who selected the one that uh, always uh, makes you be, make you to be the better version of yourself rather than just the one who's a shame um, make you feel bad for being a, uh, to experience value in your life so yeah um, I think value is just a moment for you to come back stronger thank you Okay, wow, that's amazing. That's very powerful from Kayas here. I really um into with this with uh, with this thing that Kayas just mentioned about come back strength stronger, and then yeah, it means that Kayas here learning from that, not avoiding the failure. So that was very wonderful, Kayas. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, so anybody would like to share again about their um story, personal story, and then every but everything maybe you you guys would like to divine failure. Okay, so um if nobody would like uh if nobody would going to raise their hand, should we um move to another slide, Kat? Um, Fati just or... raised her his hand, Fati. Yeah. There is somebody who just raised her his hand. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't see that. Sorry, Kat. Okay. Oh, there's a uh, Kat Fati, Mr. Fati. Hello. Hello, Miss. Hello, Kat Fati. Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Right. That's uh. Thanks for the chance given. I would like to share about my personal experience talking about personal stories of facing failure. Who would you like to start? Um, I personally, the way how to elaborate facing failure, it doesn't mean that we, we compare based on the standard uh, environment or society because every single person has a different standard. Uh, that's why uh, I, I personally, the way how to elaborate it is not because of coming from the outside. So uh, I try to deal with my my insight. It seems like we disrupt the status quo. If uh, uh, the societies put the standard, um, let's say the key of success, if uh, we have achieved, uh, how to say, rich or wealth, but we disrupt this, the 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 meaning of wealth is uh, taking care of. Uh, education sectors because as far as, as I'm concerned yeah. that everyone 
hasn't been aware of uh, education. The society, the society, um, defines of education is lack of everything or only teacher and and uh, teacher yeah. and student. But in terms of that, it has a lot of variables which build up, which uh, consists of, how to say, how to say, government, society, teacher, curriculum, and so forth. That's why we call it system. If system, it must be connected to each other. Uh, some instruments or one of them cannot be separated. That's why we call it system. How to facing the failures? Um, I personally is not a policy maker or civil servant. Uh, I personally try to influence my my small circle that we have to take care with education. We do not define the education is only learning at school, but beyond of that, beyond of the school, beyond of the university. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Fatih, for um ex the explanation. I I was really loved that. Okay, okay. So, uh, anybody you would like to share about their thoughts as well? Alfila. Okay, um there's Alfila. Hello Alfila. Hello. Hello. Um Alfila. Oh, I guess she forgot to unmute her microphone. Yeah, probably. Maybe you can try to unmute her. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Alfila. She's my friend, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alfila, are you there? Uh, okay, yeah. Hello. There is yeah, no... Alfila, are you there? Can you hear us? Is it connection problem? But maybe. Oh, maybe. So you can continue to the next slide. Okay. Yeah. Sure. We continue. Okay, so after you guys already explained about your definition about success and uh, how uh, you actually can deal with that. So now I want to ask you guys, what could be the reason for failure? So there's probably there, there's a reason behind it. Why did I fail? And you may ask the question to yourself and you look into the mirror and you ask, why did I fail here? So there's a reason behind that, right? So anybody who would like to share about um this question for answering this question, you guys can raise your hand now. So um yeah, while we are waiting for the others to raise your hand, maybe a little bit I would like to share from my perspective. What could be a reason for failure? So I could say that um just recently I also got felt in like before I went because I also about to going to university this year so I'm a fresh graduate from high school and then before we going to university there's like some you know thing that we need to pass it like you know some um exam in trans uh, exam in trans college thing like that and then before that we I also enroll myself with the SNBP or with the press uh with the um achievement but I didn't get it with that thing because yeah because probably there's a reason behind it maybe I'm not really study really war really hard when I was in middle school I mean how, when I was in high school like for three years maybe my achievement in high school was not um good enough so I need to learn from that so 
yeah because of that this is maybe the reason behind it right there this what this uh one of the reason why i felt so maybe from your failure thing guys that you have been facing in your life there's probably also the reason behind that so i want to hear from your personal experience so yeah anyone would like to share Oh, you can also try to pick one person, one or two more. Just try to, yeah, point out somebody's randomly. Oh yeah, maybe there's um like uh anyone who would like to yeah share about that. Maybe Mister, um Miss okay maybe uh Rain. Or maybe Alfila. Oh, maybe Kaikbal. Kaikbal. I want to hear from your from your personal. Okay. Sorry, maybe what could be a reason? <laughs> um, uh, actually, on um, my perspective, like if you ask me, what could be a reason for failure? Um, I can say, um, it consists of two things. Like it could be exter external reason and also an internal reason so like you mentioned and explained it before for internal reason maybe it it comes from ourselves our own self like uh we, we are lack of preparation <laughs> and yeah, yeah. it could so be the reason like, yeah, we lost our we lost our focus on when we were facing it so that's like it, oh suddenly we got a failure in our process but for an external, it could be like from your uh, your unfavorite man, like uh, you were in the toxic uh, relationship or something like that. So, you know, it, it depends on a lot of things. Uh, that's my perspective about like why we could get a failure in our process. That uh -huh. Okay, that's really amazing from Kaik, but I... Totally agree with that. Um, yeah, there's maybe also the reason behind that why God, you know, giving you this thing that as a failure, maybe you could learn from that and you grow from that failure because failure is not something that we must be avoided or something that we must be afraid of. Maybe failure, we failure at this situation. Maybe there is a reason behind it. God wants to uh, told us this is actually the reason, and you never even imagined that, right? So it's not only everything just you know bad things about failure so we can actually learn from that so yeah as a tom tom Horland, if i'm not mistaken her name his name like the spider-man she she said that in, he said in one of his interview he said that we don't learn from failure but we uh, we don't learn from winning but we learn from failure so yeah as you guys know also like there's a lot of you know wonderful people out there who are already in the top but they also you know failed in many situations as well for example, let's say like Mark Zuckerberg, before he um, made a Facebook, before Facebook were, you know, so blow up right now, he also created a lot of sites, but he also failed many times, right? So it's not something that we must avoid. So yeah, I, I hope you guys not seeing failure as something that you guys avoided on or everything or something like that. So yeah. Um, so yeah, maybe you guys would like to share about the reason. You can you can raise your hand right now. Yeah, well, what about <laughs> you, Tom? Yeah, you guys don't have to be afraid. We learn um together in here, so um it's okay. Or yeah, you, you can give the chance to everybody. <laughs> Just try to mention <laughs> the name or like. Okay. Name. Um. Okay, maybe Mr. Tom. Oh, there's oh. a Miss uh Miss Putri. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Okay. I think what could be a reason for a failure is lack of persistence, lack of consistency, lack of confidence. It it could uh, lead us to failure. Uh but the most uh the top uh, the top reason why we fail i think it's because we didn't prepare ourselves very well but 
through failure we will get to know ourselves better and we will learn from our mistakes because life lesson is the most precious things in our life <laughs> i think that's all All right, Mr. Putri, that was very powerful. I really love that. Um, you mentioned that um, like confidence, uh, like like con like confidence, like preparation, it could be the reason. And I totally agree with that. So yeah. Oh, there's also uh, Mr. Daddy would like to share about her um his answer. Yeah, Mr. Daddy. Yeah, you're fine to use whatever pronouns you want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> well, it's something that that has been normalized in that liberalism country to say. So, <laughs> what's your pronounce? I mean, it is. Um, I think I I do agree with um some speakers here stating that one of the reasons of failure is poor planning. I do agree with that. Um, but mentioning you before about learning curve, I think I want to um, emphasize more about that, which is the proficiency of someone who's dealing with their own obstacles. The proficiency here is the um, not only coming from the knowledge that you're probably reading from the theory, but also from your experiences. A lot of problems basically from your life is just like a repetitive pattern which means that something that probably has experienced before can come through again through the same pattern or the, just the same different case, but it's just the same problem over and over. So um, what people also need to understand is that you need to make lesson learns, that you learn from the previous mistakes or what you need to improve by learning something. And one thing that you also need to understand is that Failure comes also from someone who stop, you know, who wants to stop learning. When you don't stop learning, it's mostly, you know, or hardly, you know, um, hitting the point of failure itself because you've been, you know, proficient enough with the problems that you're, um, dealing with. And second of all is that uh the persistent that Miss Putri stated. I love the fact that she brought up about the persistent, the greed, that personality of you thinking that um, obstacle is not just a problem, but rather is a challenge would create a longer um, a persistent of yourself to think that the problem should be occurred or should be um, overcome. And this failure at the end of the day, when you have that thought of persistency and also greed of handling obstacles and having lesson learns, the failure just becomes a, like a stepping stone of yours rather than um, uh, the uh, emotion, negative emotions coming from the unachieved goals uh, precisely. Um, but if we brought up from the perspective of um, other people well i do well we couldn't really separate between the social standard that i brought up at the very first place because if we talk about differences yes i do agree that everyone is different everyone has their own uniqueness but um dismissing the idea of um, standard is just missing the idea of how we achieve the um system and, uh, and inclusivity itself because when you're in the circular, in the system where everyone is basically different, you need this standard where we can uh, make similarities between each other's. That's the reason why we have law. That's the reason as well that we have our own um, standard of clothing, the standard of a way of talking. Because if we don't have the standard, everyone will talk the way they want without having the formality or informality. People will just do whatever they think is right even though it's something wrong with others. So the failure should, is supposed to be standing upon the standard of so, you know, what we consider rightness, even though rightness itself should be you know, a discussion because in some perspective, rightness these days have been very blurry and iffy that people think that some what we consider all, you know, in the old time or ancient times, something that we use standard as like uh, and, you know, transcapes or religion or the law itself or the social norms have been this you know 
degrading these days that we almost think that, oh, that's just your faith or your beliefs that everyone has their own, which also dismissing the, the idea of the standard that creates more failures and failures today. Um, it's, it's really like a helicopter view of how, how I see from the perspective of, you know, a cumulative social failure that I recently seen that that's what I, you know, uh, what I want to add from other speakers stating about the, you know, the reasons of failure. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's very amazing from Kadedi. That's a very good explanation. It's very, very clear. And yeah, I think I couldn't agree with that. Everything that Ka they already emphasized about um failure and also about how we can actually learn from the previous failure and then also the challenges and also persistences. And I think that's uh that's very complete from Ka the explanation. Okay, thank you very much, Kadedi. <laughs> okay, um yeah, should we have another one to give their thoughts? Maybe uh um, Ka Anis, Ka Eka, Ka Kalita, Ka Eric, or Alfila, <laughs> or or Rain. You guys would like to um share about your thoughts. <clears throat> okay, I'll wanna go to the next slide, maybe. <laughs> Should we go to the next slide? Yeah, I think, okay. yeah. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Okay, the next question is, how do you define failure? And is it always a negative experience or can it have a positive aspect as well in your life? So um, if you guys maybe would like to share about this thing, you guys can raise your hand. Because you know, sometimes um failure is lead to the negative thoughts, negative emotion about ourselves, right? When we look at the mirror, we always say something bad to ourselves because why I couldn't make it, why everybody can make it. Like, yeah, it's just like bring us to negative thoughts in our mind and how you know, is it also can have a positive aspect as well? Or yeah, maybe you guys can share about this thing and yeah, raise your hand. Oh, okay. There's the uh, Alfila. Hopefully, um, you're audible right now. Alfila, hello, Alfila. Are you there? Hello. Okay. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> my my uh, connection was bad. So yeah. Okay. Thanks for the opportunity. For me, how how I define failure? For me, failure is something that many people fear. Many people are afraid when they made a failure because this is, isn't really a good thing, isn't it? But if you ask me, is a failure is a bad thing for me? I can say not in every way, no. Because uh, sometimes failure gives many valuable lesson to accept, to be stronger, to be more sincere, and to be greater. And yeah. I think, in my opinion, failure is not forever. So you just need to learn and rise. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Wow. That's very wonderful from uh, Alfila. I really, really love that Alfila explanation. And yeah, it's um, actually emphasized from the previous discussion that we talked about how we can actually learn from failure. And then, yeah, and then so on. Thank you very much, Alfila. I really, I really appreciate that. Okay, there is a Mr. Tom uh, um would like to share. Hello, Mr. Tom. Hello, hello. May I audible? Yes, yeah, you're uh, yeah, you're audible. Okay, thank you so much for the opportunity because yeah, the discussion is very interesting to heard from here. And then yeah, talking about the failure or problem. I remember a long, long time ago, uh, I like to hear a song from Lenka, if you recognize the the song from Lenka, and then the, the song title is Problem is a Friend. How is the, the, okay? <laughs> How we can make a friendship with problem or failure? But uh, 
before I share my opinion, do I agree with the failure or uh, I can uh, take a lesson a lot from the failure? But uh, in from my deep insight, uh, I don't like to make a failure, of course, because a failure is associated with what already happened, right? And then uh, we still have a uh, heaps time to prepare and then we yeah I heard from the previous speaker is uh, how we create a good plan and also how we manage our uh, experiences before we doing something so we can get like a good preparation before we taking the decision however yeah, if we already understand that the possibility will be happen or the risk or the failure or the mistake it will be happen and we can prepare uh, properly. Uh, however, we still have the mistake. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. This is not like a bonnet, you know. <laughs> Bondo nekat in Bahasa, I don't know in, in, in English, uh, the terminology of the bonnet. They, they just action and then thinking later. Even though uh, the action is good, sometimes just do it and then let's we think around the way, along the way. Uh, but yeah, talking about failure is always associated if uh, I was associated with the condition that already happened. But uh, I will change my mind with the opportunity or the challenge. So if we, in our perspective, we see failure is, a, is about the challenge and then we keep in our mindset, that's good thing if we get it, but uh, we still have opportunity to make like preparation and which is good. If, however, if the problem is happen or the failure is happen, yeah, just keep, Keep going, no, 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 not to, re not to make your not not regret anything about that one. So just just do it, and then yeah, that's coming from. Because uh, if we thinking the failure is as a part of opportunity, so we can we can change the men's our mindset. Oh, maybe this is a good way. This is uh, the blessing. In this case, we can. We can see the positive way, and always, always takes the positive way, uh, the, the positive, the positive perspective. So we can we can ignore all the negative itself, and also, um, if that's why I disagree. If we take, uh, as if we said the failure, yeah, just 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 sit with the opportunity or talents, and then. It's always a negative experience and can be it have positive. Yeah, if we change the mindset with the talents, uh, we have no return. We have no intention to see this problem will be as a failure or the, have the negative impact. We always happy every time and we always uh, get the positive impact for our ourselves on, on or for anything our career family relationship and so on so how we how I defend the failure uh, I will avoid that sentence failure but yeah if failure happen I will keep going and then uh, improve ourselves this is the failure happen because I already prepared or not if that's for my mistake because Oh, maybe I forgot to take this one. I forgot to uh, define this uh, before before I make a decision. Yeah, of course, there will be a failure. Then I will accept it and just just doing the improvement. Thank you. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, Mister uh, Mister Tom, for the. Um, great explanation. I really love that um, you basically mentioned about um, reframing um, a perspective or a mindset um, failure as an opportunity to grow and also learning from that. 
right? That's the highlight from Mr. Tom just explained before. Thank you so much, Mr. Tom. Really appreciate that. That was very great that we can you know, learn from that. And oh, there's a Mr. Uh, there's a uh, Kasofi would like to uh, share. Kasofi. Yeah, thank you so much, Miss, for the opportunity. I agree that this is an interesting topic because it's quite common to talk about, but uh, we not really digging deep into it. Sometimes we're just talking, we're just talking about failure uh, in terms of achievements, um, anything that related to material, like um, uh, money, uh, title, degree, uh, social status. But I would like to um take from personal um content as an individual i think one of the thing that we should consider as a failure or success is when we already on the age of that you could define as a mature maybe 20s 30s and higher but you still act like a kid in it through your uh, surroundings or your environment i'm talking about this because i've seen a lot of people who uh seems like uh, selfish or um seems like unaware because of uh, uh uh despite their age for example like uh, some certain people think that they should be entitled privilege or be honored just because they're older than everybody else, if you if you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. also one of the failure, because uh, through that age, like with this amount of year, your, your entire life you have passed, but you still couldn't feel the maturity uh, to, to yourself, that's also considered as a failure, in my opinion. And also when you feel that you are started something earlier than everybody else that people should uh, respect you more treated you differently with other like those stuff so i think um one of the thing that uh that we should consider improve other than uh achieve awards uh, with certain salary or uh, degree for for our life we should also consider our um personality which that is the the fundamental one but sometimes people neglect it because we're just too focused on those other things but i think be try to be mature content and respectful individual it's really something that important that we we we, we keep continuing improve uh, for for our entire life Thank you. That's that's from me, Miss. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Kak Sophie, for the explanation. Okay. Oh, there is a Kak Rizky. Hello, Kak Rizky. Hello. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, for me, failure uh, is not always a negative experience. Uh, it can be positive aspect as well. Um, I think we just need to think and just believe that God's plan is way bigger than what goals that we want to achieve. So that can make us aware that for achieve what we want is not only one way and make us aware that must be another success that fit perfectly with us. And maybe from that failure experience, we can learn a lot. And that learn may, can be a knowledge to us to achieve another success maybe. Uh, that's from me. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Kariski, for the opinion. Um, so uh, after we heard so many participants already share about their opinion, maybe should we um, continue to the next slide, Kat? Uh, okay. So there's, okay, the question is, how do you typically react to failure? Do you find it difficult to accept or embarrass it? And why or why not? So uh, anybody, um, does anyone would like to share about this thing? Would like to share, would like to answer the questions? <coughs> mm 
because you know we all have a different way to react to failure right there is a, somebody who not accepting that and also there's somebody also learning from the oh there's a okay ka, ka daddy, ka daddy, Mr. Daddy. Hello? Uh, if i'm talking too much please say that because <laughs> i'm afraid <laughs> that i'm talking too much uh, okay. Yeah, um, I think I really want to answer this question so badly because um, my personality, I think, really fits with this question. <laughs> uh, I think the way we react, I do agree with what you just mentioned, that people react to failure um, really depending on their personalities. I do believe so. As someone who is coming from um, the root of family who is probably, or their surroundings were very ambitious or they're really perfectionists like my surroundings we are uh we tend to trying to achieve a lot of our goals in accordance with our plans where when it's not in accordance with those uh, we consider as failures and it's very human that when we encounter failures we feel some negative emotions like sadness um feeling unaccepted, feeling um, feeling small, feeling that insecure, you know, insecure of ourselves. I used to feel that a lot when I was in elementary school to up to um, junior, almost like getting into senior high schools where I used to believe that social recognition is what makes me feel, you know, what fulfill myself the most at that time that I need other people to validate whether or not I'm actually capable of doing something that basically my goals or what I'm trying to visualize in my life is really not you know relevant with other uh, perspectives even though I still you know uh, took their suggestion into my consideration but sometimes I think it's just really irrelevant to think of that our visions are not the same, so it's not incom it's incomparable to use their um, perspective when they didn't even know what the roots uh, I'm, I was from. And uh, I think I want to explain where um, that for those people who probably are still facing with the validation from others for keeping um, the conformity over their head, thinking that if you want to be called somebody, it means that you need their validation. Uh, I think it's really relevant with the topic that um, Ira brought up is that the acceptance, but before you accept yourself, you have to have the self-awareness and self-discovery um, uh, of yourself first. At the time when I was in elementary school and um, almost getting into center high school, I have no idea who I was. I just wanted to be somebody else's perspective, somebody else's description of demos or dedi. They want they need to be this way. If I'm not that way, then I'm I'm a failure. I'm a, you know I'm a mistake that I'm not com, you know uh, compatible with the situation that I was in. That that this that awareness on myself are really like that time that I didn't know that it's so much hurting me that it changed the way I see people. It's really bad to see that I was. I, I lost my trust to people that I, th that how, how, that's how I think that important to see failure in a d different perspective and how you need to discover yourself. Um, so at the time when I was a kid or until I reached out my senior high school, yeah, I didn't know myself was because I'm, I was too looking for others validation or I'm too validation seeking, but these days I see failure as, um, you know, like a stairs over and over that I found out with last um, uh, social validation. I, I still do believe that we need to conform, but it doesn't mean that we need social validation. I'm still trying myself to not using other people validation to change the way I define myself. So this day I embrace my failure more, but as a human being, um, negative emotion is something that we all, we need to always embrace as well. That we say that oh you cannot be sad. Oh, it's very human to feel sad when you are a failure, 
because it's very normal as well to know that your plan doesn't always go to uh, your goals doesn't exactly always goes with the same plan as you, you know, uh, what goes the same way as you plan, because there are a lot of factors how you actually can achieve your goals. And if you're failed or if it's, um, uh, if you did a mistake, it's really human. It's very normal to, to embrace that negative emotion so that you don't bottle your emotion too much that I, that I did, that it hurt myself the most than others people thought. So yeah, that's my personal sharing. Okay, thank you very much uh, again to uh, Kadeidi for sharing that. Um, yeah, I, I want to highlight a little bit about what just Kadeidi just mentioned before about um, seeking validation from others. Yeah, I think uh, he, as a human being, sometimes you also need some you know, like validation, accepting from other people. If they don't, if they say like, oh, you're awesome, you're wonderful. And we felt really, um, you know, something that just really satisfied us. And then we wanted to hear that more and more. And at some point, if don't if there's nobody would be, you know, um, get with nobody would be try to give us compliment or something like that. We don't feel like there's something just like missing if nobody give us some validation. So yeah, yeah, I actually totally agree with this cat lady just mentioned before. Thank you so much, cat lady. Okay, there's a cat Yasir, Mr. Yasir. Hello, Mr. Yasir. <coughs> Hi. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hi. Uh, how do I do reactive failure? Do I find it difficult? Well, to be honest with you, it's it's hard. You know, uh, when I when I look at in the past, <clears throat> I used to it's hard for me to accept rejection failure in my life. Like I used to have like a smooth path in my life. Then suddenly, rejection come or failure come in the journey. But um, personally, this day I tried to like select. Uh, you know, this day I tried to when I when I accept um, rejection, let's say rejection or I failure, I fail on something. I try to take time take a step back uh i i left the thing that uh but the, uh the the thing uh that checked me i left it for a while then i take the time doing the thing that i like doing my hobbies and then when i feel like i'm not already here i'm mentally stable i try to questioning myself again like this is what i want do I do it for myself? Like, because I used to, like, we all talk about before validation. I used to, I need validation for every, from everyone around me. And then I question myself, this is what, I, this, is it what this is what you want. Do you, did you do it for yourself? Do you want to do it for yourself? And then when I answer the question, yeah, like, yeah, I do it for myself. I do it for my family, I'll do it for my, the one that I love. And then the opinion, the comment from uh, my family or the one that I love, it's the important comment that, uh, that I could take personally. Rather than just people who just you just met like a couple of times in a year that comment badly about your uh, one failure that they um, just saw on social media maybe, they uh, try to bring you down, and and, and <clears throat> this day I feel like more uh, selective. I have my filter to every people' opinion and boundaries. So yeah, take a step back and heal yourself, and then try again. I think that's it for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, um, Kaya, for the explanation. Um, so, uh, should we waiting for the other participant who would like to sharing about their thoughts as well? Maybe, um, another participant, uh, Rain. Oh, there's a Rain. Hello, Rain. Hello. Hello, Rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do I typically react to failure? 
of course, I wouldn't say I react positively to failure because I would be a hypocrite to say that. I would react negatively first and foremost. But until taking some time to think about it, to finally regain my conscious mind about it, I could finally understand and take the positive sides onto the failure that I had. So do you find it difficult, difficult to accept or embrace it? I sometimes find it difficult to embrace it because for me, failure, I could easily get drowned and beating myself up over the failure that I get. Because, you know, growing in a ambitious household, right? It's hard to accept that you have a failure when other, when your sibling or usually friends don't have that failure. So I usually, my first reaction to failure is like to beat myself up over it because why can't I do it while well, other people can? It's like, you should have done it. You always got an, like an A. Why, why would you get the B right now or C? But on, when I think about it, I take a longer time to think about it. Oh, maybe, maybe I've tried my best, but the situation is just not it. Maybe I'm not at the right time to do that. Maybe it's like a sign for me to do better or something else. So yeah, I do typically react negatively to failure. I do find it hard to embrace it, but there's usually people who pull me out from beating myself up and telling me, oh, you've done great. It's all the best you could have done. You could try next time. So yeah, that's it, I guess. Thank you for having me. Okay, thank you very much, Rain, my friend. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, um, yeah, I I would like to highlight about what you just mentioned before about you always beating up yourself. You're typically someone who uh, reacting negative things right to, towards yourself when it comes when you're facing failure. And um, I'm actually uh, kind of on the same page with you. I'm also I'm reacting at negative things. At first, I think it's a you know part of human being. We also face um, when we face the first time failure and then we saw other people they didn't get this thing they got done perfectly so yeah I was kind of like f having that kind of thoughts in my mind why I couldn't do that why these people do this perfectly I already tried my best what I couldn't do that. I was like you know beating up myself as well but again maybe there's a sign maybe like just Rain mentioned before there's a sign behind that so we must hard work and uh, learning from that so yeah, thank you very much, Rain, for the sharing. Okay, so anybody you would like to share about their thoughts as well? Okay, Kadeti say in the chat box, relatable, I had the same kind of thoughts until I read Jordan Patterson book, 12 Rules of Love, chapter uh, four. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to somebody else. Wow, this is a very powerful quote that we got from Kadeti. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, com I actually have seen this um like this um quote before. I don't know, maybe on Instagram. Somebody said, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to somebody else. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think we should do uh, you should you should we should uh, you know uh you know appreciate people in the chat book as well. So <laughs> yeah, maybe it's something that we can bring bring up and then talk about that. So thank you so much, Kennedy, for for that. Yeah, that's amazing. So I guess we need to get to the next slot. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think I should I should I shouldn't put that in my notes, like compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to somebody else. Yeah, yeah okay. Really kind of okay, so the next slide. Okay, uh, the next question is can you share a pacific failure you have experienced and how it impacted you? And did it lead did it lead you to any positive changes in your life? So um yeah. You guys would like to um, share about your opinion? You can raise your hand right now. <laughs> oh, we got a newcomer. So what about if we try to give an, a chance to a newcomers? Hi, Mr. Hi-Ho. 
Hello. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Hi, ho. Oh, maybe it's a mess. I don't know. Or what about your surfer, Bray? You can try to pick somebody, Ira. Okay. Um, I would like to choose maybe Ka Risky or Ka Febri, Ka Putri. <laughs> oh, Ka Ka Febri. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Ka Febri. All right. Okay. Hello, uh, Miss Ira, Mr. Iqbal. <laughs> Okay. Uh, can we share a specific failure you've been you've experienced and how it impacted you? Did it lead to any positive changes in your life? All right. Uh, <laughs> you know, when I read these questions, I remember a one of video, if I'm not mistaken, in uh, red carpet or a carpet of one uh one event international event i guess like how are you i am successful oh, that's what i want that's what i want to say i am successful i uh uh failure uh maybe back then when i when i was in high school i mean like when i didn't uh get the university or the institution the best expert <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> when when uh, back then when i was in high school i didn't uh accept to the the university that, that i really wanted at that time so uh yeah at <laughs> that time because uh, I wanted, I, I really wanted to be a part of uh, statistic, uh, this, if you know that one. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> because of that, uh, I finally got the, uh, what do we call it? Uh, because that at that time, uh, the, the test was always, yeah, the, the test was always uh, before the uh, university entrance or SN, SNPTN, SNP, SN, SN, SBMPTN at the time, SBMPTN. And then uh, uh, because I didn't make it, uh, I tried to, uh, I tried to, uh, uh, what to join the SBMPTN. Uh, finally, uh, uh, <laughs> it, it took almost a month for me to, uh, what do we call, to back, to back to the line that, okay, I need to, I need it to continue my life. I mean, I need to, uh, to let it, let it go and then try to uh, tie the new, uh, journey for me so uh, back then i tried to apply for this as an mbtm and then i got accepted in the public university with a full scholarship that's the thing uh well basically the first uh the first one is uh the first one because i really wanted to uh, enter the uh, statistic uh, because it, it's it's one of uh, one of uh, uh, what do we call one of I see uh, PTK itu perguruan tinggi kedinasan. I don't know in English the term the terms of uh, perguruan tinggi kedinasan in English, but that's the thing why I uh, why I really wanted to uh, to be a part of this uh, students at that time. But uh, but like I I forgot it because uh, I finally got the new the got the got the the other one with uh, a public uni public uh, university with a full scholarships and then the thing uh, and then after that 
Oh, it, it led to me, uh, it led to the many experiences that I got because the, the, the scholarship provided me a lot of uh, events like uh, skills, uh, communication skills, and then also some courses. And then uh, I got laptop as well to support my education in the university. So uh, with the trainings as well. So uh, back then I, I, met, I met a lot of people, great people uh, in, my, in that university. Uh, so I, I made connections with them till, till now, uh, that's the thing. Uh, I guess that's the thing that, that I can share about the failure. Uh, the thing is, uh, it's, it's okay, I mean, like you experience one failure. The, the, the more important thing is the way you uh, come back. I mean, like the way you wake up to, from the failure itself, that's the most important thing. It doesn't matter how many failure you, you've got, uh, as long as you can wake up and then as long as you continue your life, that's uh, the true successful, I think. That's all, Kaira. Okay, wow. Thank you very much, Kafir, for an awesome explanation from you. And also you're sharing about your personal experience as well. That's very wonderful. And um, yeah, maybe anyone who would like to share as well about their personal experience or uh, to yeah answer regardless of the question. <laughs> oh, okay. There's Kasofi. Hello, Kasofi. Hi, uh, Miss. Thank you so much for the next opportunity. I'm actually not really uh, uh, willing to share mine because uh, who cares about my personal problem? But then I rethink it. I think maybe this is relatable with some people. So I would just share it. Hopefully you guys could um, find that interesting, but I'm sorry if it is too boring. So uh, one of the uh, experience that I, I can call it as a failure, maybe because uh, 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 back in 2017, when I was graduated high school, I, I signed up myself to the agent that education agent that they guaranteed us uh, to study abroad which ended up is a scam. So <laughs> that's actually a long story short, but what I call it as a failure, because that time uh, I was too unstable as a teenage girl and I too push myself to achieve something that I, I wasn't ready for. I wasn't ready as an intellectual. I wasn't ready for the uh, finance and also uh, maturity. So uh, all I can think about when the agent came to my school and advertising their their product that they will guarantee some student to go abroad for, for studying to the uni, I just completely uh, uh, confidently uh, trust them and sign up myself, um, uh, pay for a certain amount of money. And I push my parents to fulfill that request, which, that was quite hard for my parents to to um, to get those amount of money, but I I try to convince them that this is my goal, this is my dream. That please, please, guys, help me to achieve this because they guaranteed. That's the advertisement. There is a word guaranteed there. But I ended up here. I'm still in Indonesia. I haven't studied abroad before, even though studying abroad is still my dream. But uh, from that experience, I realized that we cannot push everything happen in one time, that there's always the time on its situation or its uh, uh, or any plan that we uh, we try to achieve for for a better future. But there are just so many things that are out of our control that uh, makes us wait maybe a long or longer than we thought and harder than we thought. So we can have a good plan, 
like the spectacular one, but the universe also involved in this journey. So don't forget about it as well. We should we should realize that we're not the only one who uh, get through this all of surroundings, all of the, the people that um, that close to us are actually helping us. And there are always capacities that we cannot uh, uh, cross it. If, if, there is, if, if this is not the right time to, to start to, to go or whatever it is, then don't push it. It will, if you have the destiny to, to, um achieve those goals you will achieve it one day maybe not maybe just maybe just not this time i think that's it thank you miss okay thank you very much um kat sophie for um your sharing i really love that you mentioned also about don't really push yourself like, behind your limit as well and maybe it's not the right time maybe later on so yeah Thank you very much, Kat Sophie. Oh, there's um, Mr. Tom, Kat Tom as well would like to share. Oh uh, yeah, hello. Thank you for the second opportunity. And yeah, <clears throat> discussing about the failure always interesting because depends on the situation or the problem itself. If we define the failure is as a part of a gap or differentiation between your goals and the fact of what you achieve with between your dream or what you achieve at that time. Yeah, uh, that's a kind of failure defin definition. And yeah, if you put your goal in the some thing or in the some point uh, on top and then you can't achieve at that time maybe it's just 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 time manners all right and yeah uh, from my perspective the biggest failure that I have experienced is uh, I didn't took the opportunity and then yeah until now I'm still confused maybe that time that's uh, in the third time, I will be doing this one, this one, this one. But I never, never try. So that's why uh, I have something like <laughs> uh, perspective. If you never try, you never know. So that's why don't, don't, don't afraid to try first. Uh, yeah, of course, before you try, you need to consider everything about the consequences because every thing that you decided always have the consequences if you understand the consequences then you try it and then you feel it doesn't matter it is good because you you move from your first stone to the next stone that's your uh, stepping stone if I, if I refer to what Mr. Demu said and at the time I have good offering from some company, from from some company, and then yeah, I never, I never take the opportunity that, uh, and then after that, I'm still curious about the offering itself because they just said uh, if you take this offering, and then tomorrow you can start as a new employee in this company, and then this is like. The international company, the the company based in the Japan, and then yeah, which is good, uh, but I didn't take it. So that's kind of failure for myself. So if you have the good opportunity, if you live in Jakarta or or someone somewhere, uh, then something like I can make like association between if you are train passenger and then you already stand in behind the yellow line waiting your train coming and then once the train coming the door is open but not you you not coming in you just waiting ah maybe let's we take the second train and then yeah 
after the second train coming, you still thinking, mm, which is better if I took the front front one, and then you you waiting until the third the third train coming, and then yeah, after that you leave, of course. Yeah, if you never try, you never know. So my suggestion is not. Yeah, of course, if the failure will be the impact from the failure will be totally depending on the um, your goal. If you set, if you set your goal as the highest one from your perspective, or push to the limit, and then you prepare anything, then after that you failure is it doesn't matter. But if you have no any plan, then if you have, have no any goals, or if you have any dream to achieve, and then you failure, that's normal because you have no preparation, right? And yeah, I refer to my experience because I never try, I never took the opportunity, and then until until now, I'm still curious. How if I took the opportunity? Maybe my life will be better, and so on and so on. Even though I feel my life uh, happy in the different way, maybe God choosing this way for me, and then this is like the blessing in this case, and I really enjoy it at that moment. Thank you, Miss. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Tom, for yeah for your explanation and your sharing about your personal experience as well. Yeah, that's very insightful for us to learn from that. Yeah, we never try. If we never try, how we will we will never know? <laughs> like the song, if we never try, how will we know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, correct. <laughs> okay, so um, does anyone who would like to share as well? You can raise your hand. Okay, uh, Mr. Risky. Hello, Mr. Risky. Hello. Yeah, hello. Okay, uh, I want to share my experience when I failed in an interview for a job that I want. Uh, I actually really sad for the first time because I already succeeded to the past another step like academic tests, psychology tests, and the HR interview, but I failed in user interview. It is actually quite impact my mental a little bit because I already put my expectation too much since I already passed another test but failed in the last test. I actually confused and want to cry at that time because you know, when you're not reach your expectations, moreover it is your dream job or that dream that you want. But after time by time, I learn and try to thought that maybe if I get accepted, the environment of the company is not fit with me or with my personality, or maybe there will be a lot of job that I can't resist. So maybe that failed experience can be learning for me to be able to think more positively to deal with anything that is not according to our research. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, um, Mr. Risky, for sharing. Um, so anyone would like to try again? Uh, Alfila, hello, Alfila. Okay, so hi. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, 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 you're audible. Okay. So, failure experience. Actually, to be honest, I have a lot of experience of failure. <laughs> but one of the memorable uh, experience of failure is when I uh, joined the competition in October 2022. Uh, so we practice every day for the competition. I practice every day. Uh, I'm so tired with that uh, practice and something. But when the when the time to announce announcement announcement of the winners, I'm not on the list of the winner. So yeah, I'm so sad at the time. I'm so like sad you know and then i feel like i feel like uh 
I thought that I want to giving up and felt maybe I wrongly thought that I was good in here because I felt I felt in something that I'm good at. So yeah, I feel like, oh, maybe I wrongly thought that I was good in here. I I think about not for join a competition again, but uh, one of my friends told me that fell fell at the things that you think that you're good enough. Maybe not because you're not good, but maybe it's it's just not that time. So yeah, just just do and not giving up. So yeah, it's really impact me to to learn to improve myself more. Maybe maybe uh not because I'm not good, but maybe just because not that time. That's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Alfira, for sharing. Okay, wow. It was kind of reminding I yeah, for me. <laughs> okay. Okay, Alfira. Uh, That's not wonderful. Oh, what about me? <laughs> can I huh? can I give my Oh uh, yeah, go ahead, sure. Um, yeah, I, I do agree with the last statement that's come from uh, Miss Fila before that. Maybe it's not just the right time because I felt that as well. Uh, in 2019, at the time, uh, I was trying to, to enroll a scholarship from the government. Like I do my best. Uh, I, I did a lot of preparation, went to the hospital to get uh, like some kind of uh, notification that I'm 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 in a good sit I'm in a good uh body but like yeah suddenly I got rejection <laughs> like I didn't get the scholarship and at the time um I I I was really <laughs> yeah yeah because that's like my first experience try to do my best uh, Try struggling so hard to get a scholarship, but unfortunately, maybe it's not the time. But the following year, I try to register uh, the same scholarship again. Uh, but uh, beside of that, I try to register to other scholarship as well. And but yeah, because of the things that happen in my life at the time, like. Yeah, in 2019, I got rejection from one scholarship. And suddenly in 2020, I got accepted in five scholarships. So <laughs> I don't know why. Like uh, because of that things, I uh it, it it realized me that oh sometimes the destiny is really confusing to us, like when we have prepare it well we got rejection but when uh, we decide but we decided to not get up get give up and we still try to register it again yeah <laughs> like the, the journey the destiny is is coming to us so yeah the, 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 the conclusion is sometimes we just need to do it twice <laughs> and yeah, never give up, give up to everything that happens in our life. Because yeah, sometimes the failure can bring us to a lot of things that we never expected before. So yeah, that's really <laughs> interesting for me. Okay, that was very fascinating. Okay, well, yeah, uh, well, congratulations, by the way, you got accepted in five scholarships. That was wonderful. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, um, maybe there's uh anybody you would like to share as well, or should we move to next slide? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So the next question is: In your opinion, what role does self acceptance play in it, in dealing with failure, and how can accepting uh, how can accepting ourselves help us find peace in the face of failure? So, um, if you guys want to answer the question, you can raise your hand. Hmm.
So what about you? <laughs> Maybe you can, what yeah, you can be the first person to give this opinion. Okay, so um, while we are waiting for the other participant who would like to share about our opinion, maybe I can share from my perspective. Um, what role does self acceptances play in dealing with our failure? So for me, at first, I'm what I want to say that failure can be a powerful teacher for me. So it helped me to recognize my limitation and areas for improvement. So I would say that it's not something that I must be afraid of um, again. And then, yeah, at first it was very hard for me to find peace and accepting failure and embarrass it in my daily life. But again, I was really grateful that I have like um, a lot of people that supported me, like my network was supportive, like my mom, my both parents, they're all really supporting me. When I and when I encounter a fa uh, failure, they always try to remind me that it's not the end, it's not the final, that you can actually try another thing and then maybe just um, it's not your destiny right now. It's not the right time again, just like I, well, and also I I mentioned before. So by accepting this thing and then by reframing my uh, mindset, my uh, my perspective about failure, uh, I actually finding it peaceful when I, whenever I came across failure in my life. So um, for me, like self acceptance also means like let it go, letting go of uh, perfectionism. So um, like maybe like I would say that uh, when we fail many things like we fail in our life we also feel like kind of like disappointed and evil and even like try to beating up ourselves but again you must be accepted maybe there is a reason behind that and then you try to like acknowledge what's the reason behind that and then also yeah self-acceptance becomes like essential in this process as well because it all it allows us to acknowledge what our failure and then also can be a reflection for ourselves as well so uh, I think that's all for me. <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe Kai Iqbal would like to share because nobody, nobody. Oh, um, what, about, what about Sophie? Uh, if you don't mm -hmm. mind, you can share your opinion about this one. Is it me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. To be honest, I don't really get it. Maybe uh i think i bet this is a really cool interesting question but uh, i don't know my brain is not really working uh okay but i think um okay how's i accepting i'm just gonna highlight the yeah. the sentence how can accepting ourselves help us find peace in the face of failure i think uh through all the failures that we have been through that we have been experienced this whole entire life there there must be one time that we don't have any choice to just changing you know what i mean that there is a change that we choose in purpose that i want to i want to do this because i want to be like this i want to be better person better life but there are also certain certain moments that you you no longer have choice. You just have to, to change because the the situations the didn't work as you are expected before, and there's no way to go back. You just need to change it. For for uh, let me uh, I don't know. Just uh, let let's let's find example to make it uh, clearer. Maybe because uh, maybe for example you have someone or uh, I don't know you call it significant other or your best friend or your family that you're close with but you don't you didn't really treat them uh, kindly or 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 you don't really act good at them but suddenly they're just passed away and all you all you have um, all you can feel is just regret uh, regretful like you you can do anything the person is just gone you can anything that you try to uh, you can cope with anything to to make the person come back to the earth so at that point there must be like a emotional roller coaster that we we experience that 
and we reflect ourselves that I shouldn't be this way. I could have been better at the past. I shouldn't have done this, but let me fix this uh, to the next person or uh, to the to the to my future to make me feel not only a better person, but also to make me feel to make me able to forgive myself and accept myself that I'm not a bad person anymore. And I was a bad person, but I'm, I will try to be, uh, to no longer be that kind of um, person. So I think that is uh, the, what is the English of uh, titik balik? <laughs> I think that's it. That's the, the yeah, titik balik. <laughs> oh, that's not horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah of uh when we try to accepting ourselves uh to find a peace in face of failure thank you sorry Agnes. okay all right thank you very much uh Kat sophie okay uh there's a uh, kadedi mr daddy yeah thank you i also want to add some opinions about this self-acceptance. Um, I think it does really like having big roles in dealing with failure. Um, echoed with what already saw people wrote up with us about the self-acceptance itself. It's what people need to understand that self-acceptance is not only that you're accepting your capabilities, your positiveness, but also your incapabilities, your negativeness, that you're aware that you are not capable of doing something you also need to open and um, agree with your own self of attributes that oh i only have one hand or i only have one foot it's all self-acceptance self-acceptance creates um uh this uh unwanted delusion of others opinion of yours which creates peace at the end of the day if you're keeping yourself with the path of not dealing with other opinions. You can get inputs from others, but not necessarily changing the way you are. It's really nice because it's really, you know, changing the perspective of dealing with the failure itself. Because when you're dealing with failure, as everyone stated that you're in the surrounding or the status of people who are ambitious, you are in the surroundings of people who put you in the box or put you into conformity, this self-accepting creates the, you know, like the boundary of yourself creating that, okay, if that's what people wanted from me, then I'm not capable of doing it, even though I have tried. It creates the, I don't want to use it that non-formal way of saying that, not like don't, not giving a bad, bad censorship, like, you know, neglect, I don't say neglect, like ignorance towards something that probably you're not capable of. It's like embracing that, oh, this is my limit, even though I can break it through, but that's not probably what my preferences is. So this self-acceptance creates that um, peace and uh, awareness, self-love, esteem that, you, that you've never had before because there are a lot of factors that people already mentioned about the negative emotion, how surroundings, you know, um, as, you know, the, to be the roots of whatever they thought they had. It's really, you know, um, taking a big role in dealing with failure. Yeah, I think that's all. Back to Ira. Okay, Kadeli, thank you very much for sharing. Um, so we have one minute left, uh, Kajba, right? <laughs> one minute more, uh, five minutes. <laughs> okay, so um, should we continue or um, should I um, maybe like tell about a conclusion that we got from our discussion today? Or how is that, Kat? Mr. Tom just raised his hand, so maybe it could be the last one. Okay, Mr. Tom, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm the last man. <laughs> <laughs> so you can call me the last samurai. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I will make more quickly. Just, just I want to add what Mr. Teddy said, uh, how we can accept the failure. Of course, uh, please just focus on what you get don't really focus on what you didn't get and also just focus on your strength not what you a weakness because if we sometimes we feel uh regret 
if we lose and or, or we, we we can't get that. But yeah, we forget so many things that we already get. And also, don't remove your dream. Don't 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 throw throw out your dream. Just put on dream in there, and then yeah, just keep going. Let's keep the ball rolling. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Tom, for sharing. Okay, um, okay, Paul. Well, All right. So uh, thank you very much <laughs> for Ira. You are such a nice, nice um, moderator, and everybody. Just for information, uh, Ira is a podcaster. So yeah, like how do I say bring the, the the discussion tonight? It's such as really nice, like re real podcasting and. Yeah, that's the way say yes to bring uh, her podcast with a guest. So maybe mm, Sir Daddy or Sophie or some people here could be your guest. So we just try to invite them later. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, everyone, uh, we are in the end of our discussion on like Kizzle. Uh, before we are going to close it, I'm going to bring some, yeah, some feedback for our tonight's discussion. And the first fit, feedback is about the way to, the way for us to give uh, an opinion. Uh, and yeah, I believe all of you have known this one, but just for reminding, uh, beside of I think, we can also use another way to say or to give our perspective, like, uh, you know, everybody can say in chat box, like you can just, in my opinion, as far as I'm concerned, um, I believe that I'm, I'm, I'm of the opinion that it is my belief, it seems to me, to my way of thinking, in my way, I honestly think that I'm still many more. <clears throat> And beside of that, I'm going to mention some vocabularies that uh, people forgotten. <laughs> yeah, we also like to know it. So just for reminding, the first thing is, uh, yeah, when you want to say bonica, you can say doll. And uh, perguruan tinggi kedinasan, you can say a uh, state college, or if the college is where, uh, where it, if the college is plus in Indonesia, you can say Indonesian stat college, uh, and the last one in like uh, Titik Balik, or you can say turning point. So everybody like Kiesel, before we are going to close this one, if you don't mind, please turn on your camera and yeah, we are going to yeah take a picture for this moment. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah. Okay. Wow, Mr. Sophie. <laughs> Oh, Miss Sophie, wow, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think there's other participants also to open their camera. And it's okay, guys. Let's take a picture together. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah, it's okay, Miss Kalita. And I don't know why, like, why don't you join to give your opinion? Maybe you are in a busy situation, but... Yeah, it's such an honor for us to have you here. And um, thank you so much for Mr. Ardi, even like you were coming in the last time. But yeah, uh, thank you very much to, to like to still provide your time to join. And hi, Mr. Fabri, thank you so much. And all right, so guys, uh, let's take a picture. So everybody, uh, I'm going to con it. So one, two, and oh, yes, understanding of my word. It's okay, Mr. Kalita. One, two, three, cheers. Okay, one more time. What a second. Uh, let me try to put it on in, in, on WhatsApp first. Wait oh, do I? Uh, one, one more time. We're going to take it again for second chains. Um, Okay, um, let me bring the second chance. Three, two, one, and cheers. Okay, great. Thank you so much. And Sir Hudori, 
<laughs> if you don't mind, can you can you like lead us to mention uh, the, the motto of Otai community? Okay, community yesterday, you said tomorrow. Okay, so everybody, if I say Otai community, so all of you must say yesterday, you say tomorrow. Okay, yesterday. so one, two, three, Otai community. Yesterday, 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 tomorrow. Yesterday. All right, so Mamek Balas, the Haas, and Nira, the moderator for tonight's discussion. Uh, thank you very much for joining. The last I say, we'll be later with you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And see you in another Thank you. 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 Thank you.